Actually, on the island of Guadalcanal in 1942, and I am representing General Alexander Archer Vandergrift, a local bred and homegrown boy from Charlottesville, and I will speak for General Vandergrift. I was born in 1887 and lived in Charlottesville until I joined the U.S. Marine Corps in 1909. I always remember Charlottesville as a quiet little town at the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains, a home to some 8,000 people, 7,999 Democrats and one Republican as I recall. Some things never change. I grew up and lived in a two-story red brick house with green shutters at 212 East High Street, not two blocks from here where we are in the southeast corner of Lee Park and my house was actually on the site now of the First United Methodist Church parking lot. Well, I'll tell you briefly about myself. After joining the Marines, I fought some battles down in the Caribbean, the so-called Banana Wars that the Marines fought in uh, Haiti, Nicaragua. I didn't fight in World War I. They were sparing a lot of the young Marine Corps officers at that time, but I made the acquaintance of a man by the name of uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was Secretary of the Navy at that time. We became friends, and that friendship lasted. And after Pearl Harbor, in, in 1942, in August 7th, I was appointed the commanding general to lead the 1st Marine Division to the invasion of Guadalcanal included a 75-ship amphibious task force. The battle lasted six months and was a series of battles of attrition from which the Japanese would never fully recover. I was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor in 1943 for my efforts there, and in 1944 I was recalled to Washington and became the 18th Commandant of the U.S. Marine Corps. My greatest achievement was probably not so much being the commanding general at Guadalcanal, but for preserving the United States Marine Corps. In 1947, there was a move to eliminate the Marines and make them nothing more than a ceremonial flag-bearing group. President Roosevelt, who had passed away, was very much a pro-Navy Marine man. President Truman sided more with the Army, and they were going to try to consolidate the armed forces to land, sea, and air, Army, Navy, and Air Force. And it was through efforts of myself and others, but through me because of time and place and being Commandant, that we preserved the Marine Corps to, the, of the fight, to be the fighting force they still are today. And I would say that was my greatest achievement. I came back to Charlottesville and lived for a good number of years up on Rugby Road. My wife and I eventually retired to Florida. And uh, in the 60s, my health started to fail and I passed away in 1972. Uh, I was interred in, Nash in the Arlington National Cemetery. And I hope you all have come down perhaps to see this festival of history. It's the first year that it's ever been and we're hoping possibly to make it an annual event. And uh, if, you didn't, if you didn't come, shame on you. If you see it next year, please come. The overall festival of history we had a series of lectures all the previous week with a lot of interesting speakers on different topics of Charlottesville and Albemarle County's history. And it all, it all started out uh, with the time capsule opening a week ago. So anyway, Semper Fi.